Hello and welcome to a Tin Dog Podcast. This time I've decided to go with video. I know. Very exciting. Okay. Now, a couple of things. First off, we'll be doing a bit of video recording when the Doctor Who New TV series starts in, well, 31st of October. That'll be nice. I've decided to do those as YouTube videos. And I just wanted to kind of share a few things beforehand because it's been a little while since I've done any podcasting. First off, sorry. Second off, what's really important is that two big things have come up in the news. The first one is that Russell is coming back and that's going to be brilliant. Um, But of course, us being kind of worried constantly about this sort of thing, we instantly started worrying. I mean, you already know that I've got a real issue with watching Doctor Who on broadcast anyway. I sit there, I experience the show, and then I worry that the entire world is going to realise that it's not very good, and that it's instantly going to be cancelled. You already know this, it's called anticipointment. We've been through this many times. And I know we're years and years into the show, but I still worry every time Doctor Who comes back that this is what's going to happen. Russell is massively a safe pair of hands, and he's even more experienced now than he was then. So what's my problem? I haven't really got one. That's not quite true. I, like many people, are now worried that the series is going to close. That it's going to become the GNT. Hmm. But that's because we've got old memories and we were hurt and burnt in the past. Yes, he's always said Doctor Who will go away. However, the important thing to remember here is... Hugh Grant. Bear with me. Everyone's having competitions over who's going to play the Doctor next. Yes, I know who it should be. It should be the person who played the Rani in Sarah Jane Adventures. Me, I've got a theory about that one. Uh, It's all about spilling DNA from companions, uh, being latching on to the new person and so on. That's how we ended up with Rose and things. That's not important. What is important is that one of Hugh's major regrets in life is that he never got to play the Doctor. He turned the role down. Now... Bear with, if he turned the role down and he regrets this, and he's worked with Russell in that thing about, you know, the past, and more importantly of late, Paddington. The guy has demonstrated he can do comedy. He can do all of these things. And he wanted to play the Doctor. He played the Doctor on that faithful Stephen Moffat night. So... My prediction for the future is that we do end up with a middle-aged white man in order to reinvigorate the show, apparently. And what we actually end up with is Hugh Grant as the Doctor. Now, I could be wrong. I'm often wrong. But what is important is that that's my theory. That's where I'm putting my money. It won't be, though, will it? I mean, this is the guy who got Christopher Eggleston. That's my first thought. My second thought, and this is even more important, is Sony. Today, the 11th of October, it is rumoured and whispered that Sony are looking to buy out Bad Wolf, the company that is now co-producing Doctor Who. Yes, the internet is torn. We've got on one side, well, is it really a good idea? Will the BBC affect this? Will it matter? And of course, being the paranoid Doctor Who fans that I am, yes, it will matter because it's not the BBC owning it. Did they hang around and just wait for Bad Wolf or a production company to come along and help? And then they just pounced, thinking, oh, we could own a bit of of Doctor Who, that'll be good. We could Bad Wolf or a production company to come along and help. And then they just pounced, thinking, oh, we could own a bit of of Doctor Who, that'll be good. We could give it to the world, perhaps. Perhaps not. We just don't know. But what is important is that this is, of course, something else to worry about. On top of the whole 
yes, we're promoting Doctor Who, the new TV show, by not having any adverts at all. We'll get back to you on that one, I think. So how do I feel? I just don't know. Sony worries me. But then again, Marvel being owned by Disney worries me. And would I rather that Disney had stepped in and bought big bits of Doctor Who? Perhaps I would. But that's because I like Disney. And we'd end up with Doctor Who land in Disney. There are no Sony theme parks. Or are there? That's something I'll have to look up next. So, this was my experiment in the exciting world of YouTube videos. Hopefully I'll have a better background soon. And I'll speak to you all soon, very soon. Be seeing you.